Welcome to My Fishing Advisor 2.0. My Fishing Advisor is a tool for freshwater fishing. It will help you decide when and where to fish, what to use, and how to use it. Many anglers use it every day and they'll tell you it helps them catch more fish more consistently. If you're familiar with earlier versions of the app, this will look a lot different, but all the functions and features you're used to are still here, and now they're faster and easier to use. There are also exciting new features. These six buttons at the top of the screen show you your current settings. Let's start with the location. Tapping here will bring up the list of all your fishing spots. This is one of the biggest changes in the app. In the past, you had to enter the details of your fishing spot each time you used the app. Now you just describe each location once and the app saves those locations. In the settings, you can change whether to show these spots sorted by how close they are to you or by their fishing prospects. Here I have it set to show the most promising spots at the top of the list. Tapping on a spot selects it as your fishing location. And that changed up here. Whenever something up here changes, it will flash for a moment. So now my fishing location is Pettibone West Hole. The fishing time screen lets you choose the day and time when you'll fish. Normally it's checked to use the current time, but you can uncheck that and pick any date and time you like. Next, the target species. This button will show you the species at your selected location and their activity levels at the selected fishing time. Tapping one makes it your new target species. The fish activity level is shown here. And if you tap it, you'll see an explanation of how water temperature, weather, spawning, and other factors are affecting those fish. This shows the weather at your selected time and location. Tap it if you want to manually override the weather conditions. Here you have the water conditions. This shows the estimated water temperature, but you can tap on it and adjust it if you know the exact water temperature. Next, let's look at these icons. First, the map. This will show you your saved fishing locations, and they're color-coded based on the fishing prospects for your target species at the selected time. Bright green are the most promising, and red are the least. The app factors in many details about each fishing location and the current behavior of your target species to help you pick which spots to fish. If we change the target species and go back to the map, we should see some changes right away. Let's take a look at crappies. And we'll go back to the map. Quite a bit different. Some very good spots in green, some very poor in red, some in yellow to orange in between. The map also shows the distance and direction to your selected fishing spot. That can be very helpful in navigating to a precise spot in open water or while ice fishing. Next is the weather forecast. It shows an hourly breakdown of temperature, wind, cloud cover, odds of precipitation, and the barometric pressure. We can scroll through here to see each hour. Now the fishing calendar. This is also color-coded to show the most promising dates for your target species at your selected location. Let's change target species again and see what happens. Let's take a look at yellow perch. And we'll go back to the calendar. Again, bright green show the most promising dates. The sun and moon icon shows you the sunrise and set, moonrise and set, moon phase, and salooner periods. The fishing forecast graphs the activity of your target species for 12 hours. And finally, the fishing plan. Tapping the plan icon will automatically generate a fishing plan. It picks the structure, depth and current, cover, technique, and lure or bait. Here it gives you more details, like suggesting the type and test of line, type and action of rod, even details like hook and sinker sizes based on the fishing situation. If you want another option, just tap New Plan and it will create one. Or you can customize a plan. Just tap on any element of the plan and you'll see other options for habitat or fishing tackle and technique. For example, let's take a look at some other cover options. Areas without cover or submergent vegetation are our most promising. They're rated excellent. So let's go with areas without cover. And let's consider something other than the leech here. Let's take a look at an artificial. Again, sorted by prospects. Your best at the top and your worst down below. Right now a jig looks just as good as a leech, so let's go with that. And now it's going to ask for us to pick a color. It's showing our most promising near the top and there are quite a few choices that rate excellent. Let's go with a uh, chartreuse jig. 
Sometimes the app may show you a name brand product that fits your situation. In this case, it's a Cabela's Rig Mino 2. When you first install the app, it won't have any locations included. You can quickly create your own collection of fishing spots. Just go to the location screen and tap Add a New Location. In this case, I'm going to add the northeast corner of Pettibone Lagoon. And click Select on Map. When you're viewing the map, you can also change the map style to a satellite view, or satellite with roads overlaid, or topographic. We'll go back to the satellite view, and I said I was going to take the northeast corner of this lagoon. So I'm going to click to mark the spot, and click OK. Now it's going to ask some other things about the location. You can also enter the latitude and longitude manually. This is a spot that can be fished from shore. The type of body of water is a large river. Typical water conditions, stained is typical clarity here. The color is typically red or brown. Minimum depth, zero because we have shoreline. Maximum depth in that part of the lagoon, I'm going to say it's at about seven feet. Uh, minimum current, none. The water's really not moving back in this lagoon. Maximum current's also none. What structure is present at that spot? Well, there's open water. You could describe that area as a bay. No points really, but definitely shorelines. The bottom is fairly featureless, so we'll call that flats. No real humps, bars, saddles, drop-offs, steep holes, certainly not uh, a dam tail race area or wing dams or closing dams. You could call this a backwater because it is a backwater area of a large river. What about cover? Well, there's areas with none. There's some logs. Really no stumps there. We're not near bridges. Not really riprap by that shore, but there's emergent and submergent vegetation. Trees shading the water. and there's some brushy cover and some slop. How about species? What species are present? If you want to manually check them all, go ahead. If you want a shortcut or you want the app to take its best guess, tap Auto Select Likely Species. And the app just checked off the species it thinks are most likely to be there. And really, it got it almost exactly right. I would only say that muskies, they're extremely rare in this area. It happens once in a blue moon, but I'm going to uncheck that because they're effectively not present and save fishing spot. Now that spot's been added to the list. In the settings screen, you can register if you want to back up your fishing spots. That way, if you ever get a new phone, you can just enter your account information here and all your fishing spots will be restored from the backups automatically. Most of the app's functions are included in the free version, but there are some pro features that require an in-app purchase to unlock. The free version limits the fishing forecast to 3 hours instead of 12, and it only supports fishing at the current time, so you can't uncheck this box, and it does not include the detailed fish activity report. A small one-time purchase will remove those limitations and give you all the pro features. So that's My Fishing Advisor 2.0. It can help you decide when and where to fish, what to use, and how to use it. It can help you find patterns and recognize fishing opportunities you might be missing. With version 2.0, it's faster, easier, and more powerful than ever.